aerospace future is taking off. And with Starfighter's arrival, the Midland International Air and Spaceport will reach new heights. Downtown Midland turned into an aircraft runway on Monday, and it was a sight to see. I was always interested in space, kind of wanted to be an astronaut as a little kid, loved the stars, loved looking at the telescope. It's really exciting to be a part of history here. A convoy of semis carried sleek supersonic jets down Wall Street, making its way to Midland International Air and Spaceport. And Alexandria Simpson was one of many, lined up and waiting to see something the tall city has never seen before. We got a good glimpse of the future. It's going to be interesting. The aircraft belongs to Starfighters International, an aerospace company best known for operating the only commercial fleet capable of flying faster than twice the speed of sound. And the company is expanding operations right here in Midland. We're bringing in an aerospace development program, which is bringing in um, former jet fighters uh, used by the military. And we will be developing new technologies within the hypersonic region, um, ultimately air launch programs, and hoping to develop the new um, high-speed corridor. The jets will be used for supersonic testing, defense research, and even launching nanosatellites into orbit. The airspace out here is, is obviously much more available, which is huge for us. Um, there's a lot of the, the military warning a working area sites um, out to the west. Um, and operationally, it's a, it's a much quicker capability towards west coast operations. And we already have the east coast operations already in hand. So again, it's an expansion of what we currently operate out of Kennedy Space Center right now. And Starfighters joins a growing list of aerospace companies choosing Midland as their launch pad. Now, Starfighters will be bringing more aircraft to Midland, and this expansion will create jobs and opportunities right here in our backyard. Reporting in Midland, Sanji Milburn, News West 9.